For weeks, freshman Representative Ilhan Omar has dominated the news cycle. The Minnesota Congresswoman made multiple comments about Israel that some interpreted as anti-Semitic. And ever since, her remarks and the ensuing backlash have been covered in basically every cable news show. Controversial comments made by Congresswoman Elon Omar. It's accused of anti-Semitic remarks. Omar is faced by partisan criticism and condemnation. But not all comments by Congress people construed as anti-Semitic receive the same media attention. So we searched transcripts in the Nexus archive to see how differently American TV news was treating Omar. Congresswoman Omar, it seems like there's some confusion among your colleagues. Uh, are you anti-Semitic? Since Omar's tweet first went viral on February 10th, we counted 214 media segments about her. How were comments by other U.S. representatives covered? On March 3rd, Jim Jordan tweeted that Representative Jerry Nadler was influenced by billionaire Tom Steyer. The tweet preys on well-worn anti-Semitic tropes that Jewish financiers buy off politicians. Notice the dollar sign. Representative Nadler called the tweet inane and anti-Semitic. Yet online databases only uncovered one clip, which referenced how much more coverage Omar was receiving. The Republicans are going to criticize Speaker Pelosi for not doing enough. And then when a member of their own party does something anti-Semitic, clearly having caused hurt out there and adding to the what you rightly cited as anti-Semitic anti rhetoric across the country, you hear just about crickets. Or how about minority leader Kevin McCarthy? On October 22nd, a pipe bomb was found in the mailbox of billionaire philanthropist and regular right-wing target George Soros, who is Jewish. The next day, McCarthy tweeted that Soros was trying to, quote, buy the election, capitalizing on the same anti-Semitic tropes as Jordan. McCarthy later deleted the tweet. According to our Nexus search, McCarthy was on Fox Business twice, peddling the same views. But the real challenge that we have is three individuals who are trying to buy the Congress and flip it. One is Soros, one is Tom Stiers that has spent more than $120 million, and then Bloomberg. But there were no immediate segments on any news channel about the sentiment of Representative McCarthy's tweet. Then, four days later, 11 people were killed in a mass shooting in a synagogue in Pittsburgh. The suspect in today's mass shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh had an extensive anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish digital footprint. CNN, NBC, and PBS used the shooting to resurface McCarthy's tweet in just eight news segments. And then there's Representative Steve King. He's a bit of a different story. The Iowa representative has aligned himself with known neo-Nazis and actively questions the concept of multiculturalism. Where did any other subgroup of people contribute more to civilization? Than white people? Than, than Western civilization itself that's rooted in Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and the United States of America, and every place where the footprint of Christianity settled the world. That's all of Western civilization. Oh, what about Asia? Asia? For years, he's made racist comments like these, and the media barely commented. That is, until January 2019, when he told the New York Times, quote, white nationalist, white supremacist, Western civilization, how did that language become offensive? The media finally paid attention, and King was removed from his House committee seats. But then he again promoted a known white nationalist on Twitter. The number of media segments the week this tweet came out, zero. So what's the difference between King, Jordan, McCarthy, and Omar? Her defenders believe it's not about what she's saying, but about who is saying it. This is a black, young woman, immigrant Muslim in Congress who's wearing a hijab, and they are going after her for that very reason. When elected officials are accused of making bigoted statements, how can the media justify covering these incidents so differently? When you look at the data, she's a clear outlier.